Hello, this is Ross Plasco, and welcome to my new tutorial, how to make a cartoon intro sequence. Let's do this. Open up After Effects. And to start, we're going to make a new composition. 1920 by 1080, 25 frames a second, at least 10 seconds for this. Okay. Select the Text tool. Make your text space. Title intro sequence. I'm guessing you mean the dinosaurs in space one. So what we're going to do is we're going to type in, Go watch meet mysteries. Okay, and now we're going to hit enter so that it looks uh, nice. Turn the font size up, and we're going to change it, obviously, because this is Dinosaurs in Space. We're going to change it to the Dinosaurs in Space font, which is JF Rock Solid. Go download it if you want. I'll probably put a link in the... I'll put a link in the description. If that's not big enough, we can just hit S on the layer, scale it up. When you put a piece of text into After Effects, it's actually made with vertexes, which means if you scale it up, it will never pixelate. So you can scale it up as much as you want. Uh, let's move it like that. So it's got some space on the sides. Center it. Double click on the text. You can change the spacing in between the text, which is this one. You can drag it like this. Make it look a bit nicer. Maybe just change the size of the top line. So that's reasonable. Now that the top line has changed, we have to move it up a little bit. Let's change the color of the text over here to a nice turquoise thing. Aqua, green, whatever it's fucking called. Now what we're going to do to get a variation of color in the text is to duplicate this text, change the one on top to the opposite color, which is a nice pink. So, you may have heard of masking. What we're going to do is we're going to take this pen tool and we're going to draw a square around the top line. But the top of the square has to be quite far away from the top of the top line. So give it some space above it. What we're going to do is we're going to highlight the top layer and hit M twice. And that will bring you up all of the mask parameters. If we click on mask path, just the, the text, we can move the mask. Turn the feathering up so that the color changes gradually. Get a nice gradient going there like in Dinosaurs in Space. It's the wrong way up so we can just invert it. Click inverted, the inverted box. So that's your text. Now we have to pre-comp this. So we're going to hit Shift Command C and make it into its own little composition. We'll call it text. Now we're going to keyframe the text to fly in from the distance. So we're going to hit S, scale, zoom in, count five frames, one, two, three, four, five. Hit the diamond again, count three frames, one, two, three. Count another three frames and hit the diamond again. Okay, so nothing's happening because we haven't set the scale to do anything. So at the beginning, it's going to come in from the distance. So this first diamond should be zero. There we go. It's nothing. So we go along. This second diamond should come in a bit too far so that it can shrink back a little bit too far and then set on this final resting parameter of 100%. So let's say... 105% for this one because it's coming too far and then 98% for this one and then it will return to that. Hit N so that we can watch this back and uh, highlight all of the keyframes. Hit F9 or Fn and F9. Uh, hit the motion blur and then to see the actual motion blur inside After Effects you have to hit this as well which means that you can see it. Hit RAM Preview and there you go, you got a nice little title coming in from the distance. You should go watch Meet Mysteries. So another part of this project is to show how to get shine. Okay, let's just go back into our text layer, double click on it, and let's make another one of these. But this time we're just going to get rid of the mask. So hit M, click the mask one, and click delete. Goodbye mask. Double click on the text, turn it white. And what we're going to do is we're going to make another mask. Okay, so this mask is going to be sort of a diagonal rectangle. Like that. Hold Command, and then you'll be able to move it around like that. Or you can control one of the lines. So this shine should uh, fly across the text uh, only after it's flown in from the distance. So let's Shift, Left, Enter to get out of that composition and go to a point where the text has already flown in, which is where we were at anyway, so it's fine. Go back into the text, shift, right, enter, and we're back inside. So to animate a mask, hit M, and then hit the stopwatch next to mask path, 
we're going to move that mask all the way to the left. And then we're going to go forward about four frames or something, or whatever frames, and we're going to move the mask all the way to the right. You can see. Hit N, hit B, either side of it, then you can see, but it's a little bit too fast, so let's move it across like that. That's quite nice. That is a nice shine. Mmm. That is nice. Shift, left, enter. And there you have it. Let's get a little bit more bounce in here. It should come in a little bit further. Then it should probably retreat a little bit further. Then maybe an extra bounce. Go forward three frames. Hit that. And then make this one come in 101. So that's one too far. That's a little bit of a subtle, a subtle scale. Like a motherfucker. Is it just me, or is this flying in a little bit too fast? So let's highlight all of these frames and move them along. Alt, right, maybe two. Now, because it comes in so far on this, it should take longer to return down to this. Get what I'm saying? So let's highlight these and move these along, maybe two. Oh, that looks, that looks swish. That is fantastic. Next up is the stars, layer, new, solid, black. Okay, put the black at the back. So let's make a new layer, solid, and let's make it white. Okay, okay. And we're gonna drag this down below the text as well, and we're gonna name it stars. With that layer highlighted, we're gonna go into effect, simulation, particle world, physics, zero gravity, of course, velocity, up, drag this along, animation explosive, particle, faded sphere, birth color gray, death color white, birth size 0 0.02, death size 0 0.1, velocity, just turn the velocity up like loads and change it so that this is motion blurred. Change the birth rate so that there's more stars. Change the longevity to 0.4. Oh, that's some nice stars. That's some nice stars right there. Oh, so there you have it. Uh, the title sequence for Dinosaurs Inside. I mean, Meat Mysteries. Go watch Meat Mysteries. I'm about to take YouTube pretty seriously about now, so expect tutorials and cartoons a lot more frequently. Uh, I just hit 10,000 subscribers. My YouTube URL is now youtube.com forward slash Ross. So expect a lot more shit from me. Oh, and go watch Meat Mysteries, you stupid motherfuckers. Gypsy! Oh, Doing this. You won't steal my children, you stinky gypsy! <coughs> We've been married for 12 years! <coughs> what are you talking about? <coughs> I shot her twice in the face! To be sure.